Adam, we know that content creation is becoming kind of a, a must for job seeker or for everyone. You know, I like this book, I'm walking from here, or I'm seeing something, or I like this podcast. I'm uh, thank you for the tips. So, what tips do you have for job seekers in terms of creating content and how that content creation will benefit their job search? I love this question too, because it's really about standing out. And I think that a job seeker has a unique opportunity to utilize social media, specifically LinkedIn, if we're talking about it, to establish themselves as a thought leader. And there's multiple ways that they could do this, but let me backtrack for a second. As a recruiter, and you know this being in the profession, if either I'm sourcing somebody or someone applies, not only am I looking at their resume, but I am 100% going to their LinkedIn page. And I'm not saying that everybody has to be active on LinkedIn, but it's an incredible opportunity if you're not. So let's just take, for example, that someone's looking for a job in digital marketing. It's an amazing opportunity to utilize your LinkedIn platform to post articles, but not just post the articles, but provide your point of view on the article. Mm -hmm. Here's a recent article. Here's a recent trend. Here's my interpretation of it. Here are my takeaways. I agree with the author because of X, Y, Z, or you know what? I have a little bit different position here and here's why. That's going to show me a few things. That's going to show me that you're on trend, that you actually care about the industry that you're working in, that you're engaged, that you're consistently learning and you're a student of your craft. So it's an amazing opportunity for that. Another really interesting piece is to use it for networking, obviously with content networking. And if you mm -hmm. put content out there and you're building your network mindfully with folks in your industry, they're going to see that. They're going to become more aware that you're on the job hunt and you'll see the dots start to connect. Yeah. Because a lot all, of people- It's all adding the value. What value you're exactly. adding to the audience, yeah. Exactly. And if people are shy, so I started you know, creating content uh, four years ago. My first video was one minute, but it took me one hour to the words to come out correctly. So what they can do. Practice, exactly as you said, man, it takes practice. Look into the mirror, record it. Yeah. Record something on your phone or on your computer, but don't post it right away. Yeah. record it see what feels good and also don't be so hard on yourself we are always our harshest critics and we're always most mindful about how we look and how we sound yeah. i promise you i mean i'm on camera all day i hate being on camera i really do i really don't <laughs> like being on camera my mom always said i had a, a face for radio so i like being on on uh, <laughs> on on radio but don't worry about it just go yeah. for it no one really cares those are great tips, Adam. Thank you very much. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of content creation for job seekers, please leave comments below and tune in tomorrow for another question with Adam.